This is a show about the Salish Sea. Salish Sea is in this is a map of the Salish Sea, artistically rendered, and this is the United States, that's BC, and this is Vancouver Island. This is the Salish Sea that belongs to the United States, and this is the United this is the Salish Sea that is taken care of by um, Canada, by BC. So um, I had an experience with, an, uh, with a singer who came to my school and sang songs about the Salish Sea, and it was so inspiring. Her name is Holly Arntz, and she's, she and her partner still do the, that kind of work. But the kids sang out loud. They just had a wonderful time, and they learned all about the critters and, and the drumming and some Salish language. It was a wonderful experience. And that when I started thinking about what I wanted to do for a series, I thought, well, what do I love? Well, I love the ocean. I love the ocean a lot. And as I started to work on the, the, on the paintings, I actually went back into my own history in my head, and I went and visited my sister, and we looked at the old pictures and things like that. We had spent a lot of time at the sea building sandcastles and channels to the ocean and collecting things and you know making stuff so it was very much a part of what we did as a family um, we had bonfires and went looking for hooligans and it was a rich thing that we did we didn't have mcdonald's and and play places and stuff but our families took us there it was wonderful so the paintings that I did were actually, um, this is one of the first ones, and this one's called Seashore, and it was an abstraction of some of the things that I feel in terms of color and I love about the sea. Uh, it's kind of a multimedia thing. Um, but that was the beginning. And after that, it actually got really hard because I was, tr I'm, an, I'm an abstract painter, kind of from uh, decoration, um, textures, different ways of putting things on. So here I'm, I'm thinking of doing the sea and I've never thought of the sea in an abstraction before. So that's actually what this whole show is about. Me trying to use the skills I've got and develop new ones quite quickly because the show is coming up. It, it was a wonderful experience for me. The best uh, painting for a solo experience I've ever had. Um, this painting down here is called Jellies. And it's one of the examples of something new that I did that I'd never done before. So I used Golden GAC 800 and I dripped it all over and, and the fluid uh, golden paints. And they just went poof and did, you know, really wonderful things. And when it all dried, it was so bright. Um, it would, so I had to go back in and, and I just used lots of, uh, medium and paint and some sand and all the kind of things I had in my um, studio to kind of create depth and um, calm it down enough so that it could be it could be enjoyed and it's I, it's my favorite from the show I really love this painting and I'm going to do more of these kind of things I just love the surprises that happened and then using the surprises to see what happens next so that was that this one is down at Esquimalt Lagoon. And if you don't regularly go to Esquimalt Lagoon, you want to do that. It's a beautiful place. So this is on the ocean side. And it was a really, really bright, sunny day. And I'd never noticed this before, but actually the shadows on a really bright, sunny day are darker than the rocks. And that really appealed to me. So that's what that painting was about. And I don't usually do paintings like that. And I didn't think I knew how to do water, but there you go. Sometimes when you try things, it works out. This is the painting that um, I chose to put on the advertising materials. And it really is a sort of realistic, except none of it's real. I kind of made it all up. Um, but I had a lot of fun with that because I could actually use some of the decorating kinds of things that I like to do when I paint. I kind of get into it and do different kinds of drawings and and stencils and free painting and mixing up and so that's that one. This one uses the the GAC again and then I 
put a background on it, the GAC, and then I painted in on top of the GAC to follow it to make it look like it was the currents that were going in the ocean. And this one is another one that is more realistic. Um, and it, everything in it is true. And they would all be in, they would all be there. This is the low tidal zone that we very seldom see, but this is what would be going on in this, just close to the shore that we never see. However, I made it all up. I just took it out of um, the book. These, But these are all real plants that you would find in that area. So, <laughs> and once again, I used some of the things that I do, decorating and stenciling and things, added real little things. And <laughs> this one is what happens when you throw all your garbage plastic into the sea. So this is my statement one. I just took all the little pieces off my, off my palette and just glued them on because that is what we're doing to our ocean. Have to take care of that part. These are paintings that are of, uh, this is a tidal pool. It's actually got the real, um, this is like seaweed and things like that, real animals that live there. And this, these are soft corals. So it was all really challenging in terms of not really <laughs> having done a lot of this kind of painting before, but I really, I really like them too. But this is my husband's favorite, and it's called Gold Dust Lichens. And it's a wet cave with this lichen that's growing on it called Gold Dust Lichen. And that must have been a beautiful place. I wish I was the person who'd taken the picture that I painted it from. Thanks, Efren.